What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike, and this Long Beach State basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Visit ribcompany.com or call today to get your order in. This video also brought to you as part of our partnership with the Long Beach Post. This is the Long Beach Post Game of the Week. Well, it's the Game of the Week because it's the only game in town, as has been the case. We're back at Walter Pyramid on Saturday for the second of two games for the top spot in the Big West. It's Long Beach State and UC Davis. The Aggies showed why they were the preseason favorites in the game on Friday in their big win. And just like Friday, the Beach playing good enough defense to battle with the favorites. It's the red zone matchup zone. Feels like Long Beach State never out of a game with this much energy. But also, just like Friday, Long Beach State getting some open looks and just could not convert. Started 2 for 12 from the field and missed 7 layups in the first half alone. And just like Friday at the other end, the Aggies, they don't miss open looks very often. Point guard Mackenzie Terpchik cutting through the channel like a false nine on a soccer team. UC Davis, from distance, that was the dagger. They made five of their first eight shots from distance, and that had Coach Jeff Kamen uh, rethinking things. Yeah, he was a little bit upset. Tripled up in the first quarter, Kamen making some adjustments for the second quarter, trying to force them to do the things they didn't want to do, and it worked for a while. Long Beach State forcing that uh, shot clock violation. That was the spark that they needed. Naomi Hunt going to find her shot. She loves that mid-range pull-up. So important in this half-court offense, uh, just now working her way back from injury. Savannah Tucker came off the bench and created some opportunities by getting to the 10. Jasmine Hardy with two of her team-high 13. Then Justina King taking it into her own hands. The pull-up jumper in transition, then straight into the press, where she's going to cause the turnover, get the ball, put it up. Kiana Hamilton-Fisher finds the loose ball for that easy deuce. And all of a sudden, this is part of a 10-0 run that pulled Long Beach within eight points just before halftime. Unfortunately, that was the high water mark for the beach tonight. Avert your eyes, beach fans. <laughs> that was it. A relative offensive explosion to start the second half. Uh, but UC Davis going hard in the paint at the other end. They got everything they wanted in the paint. They got everything they wanted outside. Long Beach needs a couple of these threes to fall or maybe just one. Here's a possession with a pair. You get the offensive rebounds. You get the good looks. It just wasn't happening. This is a microcosm of this game for the beach on the offensive end. The energy's there. The execution just wasn't as they're trying to knock off the top team in the conference and prove that they belonged at the top of the standings. There's one more way to skin a cat if you want to score three points. You just got to get fouled when you're shooting it. Christina Jasovic with the foul there. Then a th four, few minutes later, she missed the last one, makes that one, and the foul. Uh, yeah, that's great. It, not for long, though. That was really what we were looking for was a couple of those plays earlier as the bench come back. Just not quite strong enough as Turpich slicing and dicing. Somebody force that girl to the right, will you? Yeah, uh, it wasn't happening, JJ. So <laughs> game's over. 20-point spread. Long Beach leaders King and Barry won't stop playing because they're going to force a shot clock violation. And you can see how excited the whole team was. You can see how dialed into it they were. Uh, after they get the turnover. That's what you need. You want to see that fight from this team. Uh, they are still off to their best start to a season in 32 years, and that's not an accident. That doesn't happen, you know, by mistakes or just playing bad teams. So this doesn't take anything away from where they've been, but I think you also see that look at if you want to win the Big West tournament, you're going to have to beat this UC Davis team. The villain is clearly the Aggies for sure. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And make sure you stick to the 562.org in the coming weeks as we get to the end of this college basketball season.